I've done this for Snapisode. I've done it on Insta Live. I cannot get enough of this avocado kale Caesar. So I figured we should make a video that actually exists for more than 24 hours. So you can watch it whenever you need to. This kale Caesar is everything. I'm kind of scared of a regular Caesar dressing. It's just not my jam. This solves all those problems. But before we get there, let's start with the croutons. You can use any kind of bread. This is a day old loaf of ciabatta. You could use French bread, a baguette, whatever. I just, I like saying ciabatta. Like it sounds like, I don't know, it sounds like some word they would use at spin class. So just cut this up. You probably just do a little bit more than half the loaf. And just cut it up into crouton size pieces. So like, I like my croutons a little bit bigger than normal because you gotta have a little something to bite into. So like, this is probably pretty good. You could rip it apart, this is fine. We're just gonna throw that right onto a baking sheet. So we're just gonna take some olive oil, drizzle it on top, probably about two to three tablespoons total. And then we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of melted butter on top as well. To that, we're gonna season it with some Maldon sea salt, per usual, and then a little bit of pepper. And I know you're like, pepper on croutons, who does that? Trust me, would I ever steer you wrong? No. And then we're gonna finish it off with a little Italian seasoning, which is just like basil, parsley, oregano. Throw that on top, call it a day. Give that a zhuzh. And this is just gonna go into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm doing it at 425 just to crisp up and get golden brown. Okay, let's make our dressing. We're gonna need about a half a cup of tahini. You can get tahini anywhere. I just get it from Trader Joe's. They have it at Whole Foods, you name it. And I've already used half of this for hummus, so I'm gonna actually make my whole dressing in this jar so I don't have more dishes to do. So a half a cup of tahini to that, we're just going to juice two lemons. And I'm just gonna keep my hand underneath them to catch any lemon seeds that might go in there. Just juice them right in. And to that, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. Okay, this is like, I never use garlic presses except for this one. I'll put a link down below. This is the only garlic press worth having because it's so heavy duty, it actually does a good job and it doesn't make it into just like mush. So take two big cloves of garlic. Smash it in. And then to this, we need to add a little bit of water to thin it out because tahini can be a little thick. So I'm just gonna come over to my sink and we're just gonna put a, ton, a couple tablespoons of water right in here. And then just start stirring it up. And the beauty about doing this in a jar also is you can just put the lid on and pretend you're a bartender. I clearly haven't been a bartender because I have no moves. So. <laughs> okay. Then, oh, it's like so, I mean, it looks like Caesar dressing. It's creamy, oh, it's perfect. And then we'll use this right now, but also I can pop the top on, pop it in the fridge and save it for, I don't know, five hours from now when I have dinner. That's how I roll. All right, moving right along, we just have some baby kale and some just chopped up romaine lettuce. I'm gonna give it a quick rinse. All right, so now that that's rinsed, the baby kale and the romaine lettuce, we're just gonna pop this top on. I'm kind of obsessed with salad spinners. Is that weird? It just feels like very therapeutic to do this. <laughs> All right, so this will just go right into a large salad bowl. Dump it in, give it a toss. And then, like I said, you could add all sorts of things to this. You could add roasted vegetables today. We're gonna do the basic basic stuff, so that is cucumbers, avocado, and then everything but the bagel seasoning, which is a super secret recipe of mine that I have very exciting news about. It'll be here soon, just stay tuned. So the everything but the bagel seasoning, is just gonna go right on top, just a couple tablespoons of that. It's mostly sesame seeds and garlic and onions and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna thinly slice a couple Persian cucumbers. Okay, then, I've showed you guys how to do this before. We're gonna open up an avocado. Take your knife, run it all the way through. Twist it off. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. It's not even avocado season. Take your knife and just get the pit out. And then since we're doing this on avocado kale, Caesar, and it's gonna be like pretty when we plate it, I'm actually just gonna peel the skin off. 
That way we'll be able to cut it really nicely and fan it out for Instagram, obviously. And then we're just gonna take our knife and thinly slice the avocado, trying to keep it together so it stays neat. All right, and then this, place it all over the top of our salad. Just tuck it in here and there. And then let's check on our croutons. All right, those look perfect. We're gonna let those cool for a hot second. I'm gonna sprinkle these cucumbers on top of the salad. This is, I'm not exaggerating guys, this is gonna be your new go-to weeknight salad. Like salmon, put this on the side. Chicken, put this on the side. Pasta, this goes on the side. Mm. The butter, all the difference in the world. All right, you just go on top. And our vegan Caesar is just gonna get drizzled right on top. I mean, it looks like a Caesar. You'll never know the difference and it's better. This might look like it would feed four to six people, but I kid you not, I will just go sit on the couch with this whole thing and like take it down bite by bite. I'm obsessed. You can grab the full recipe for this on whatscobbycooking.com. Tag me on Instagram when you make it because I love seeing your creations at home. And I am not exaggerating, like it's go time.